Mermaid Live Editor. This is an open source video alternative to create a diagrams and charts. Recently, when I am trying to create a, you know, the content for the website or, uh, you know, blogs preparation or the, you know, software, you know, design document, I thought like, are there any say, a simple tool which is going to help me to create a diagrams, uh, software diagrams, for instance, a class diagram, sequence diagram, you know, state diagram, even in the database, like an ER diagram, you know, and a few more diagrams. I felt Mermaid Live Editor is the one of the best, you know, uh, online tool, which is going to help you to, you know, create a diagrams easily, integrate them, you know, you can integrate them into your, your websites, blogs or documentations. You can create, you can preview, you can edit, and then you can and share. So that's why the learning made easy. Hi, welcome to Mather Space. Today we are going to look at how Mermaid Live Editor help you to create a documentation diagrams. Hi, we have a YouTube channel, Mather's Bridge. Please do visit us at Mather's Bridge and then Please feel free to subscribe. You have not, you know, subscribed. Support us. Have a great learning. So I'm launching, you know, the web browser. Uh, here I'm using a Google Chrome. So, and then Google.com is what I just, you know, you know, displayed on your screen, right? What I would do, like, I will try to uh, search for the keyword called Mermaid Live Editor. So, so this is Mermaid online editor so then the, you can see that the first you know the finding is like a mermaid live editor what you would do like you will you know uh, launch this space by double clicking for using your keyboard or mouse so let's see uh, great so i have seen now a beautiful interactive you know screen that i can see on my screen so this is the you know in a open source tool but there is a commercial usage also is available. What helps is that you can draw a diagrams, you can draw a charts or visualizations. It's like a JavaScript based tool, but you can render the, you know, the diagrams, modify the diagrams in the real time. It is a very interactive session. Uh, if you look at all in one kind of a tool to create a software diagrams and basically so you can create a diagrams easily integrate them into your websites blogs and documentations that's one advantage so you can create and view and then you can share and you know learning kind of made easy so commonly this tool is used for explaining your code in a simple way you don't require to learn a or knowing a you know a fundamental computer kind of a computer programming language but what it helps me like you know a little syntax uh, you know uh, if you learn how this tool can actually interpret the, the few things in the layman terms then uh, you know uh, try give those statements in this uh, the core code area then it generates uh, automatically a uh, diagrams on the right side you don't need to draw a diagram but this tool is helping you to draw a diagram so how many you know uh, diagrams it supports tools so we can draw a flow chart you know you can draw a, a sequence diagram you know you can draw a class diagram you can draw a state diagram you know er diagram entity you know relationship diagram right this is for uh, you know creating a database schemas and all you and then you have the few more diagrams it supports and it's not that difficult if you look at a, a you know, simple you know sequence diagram you have to put a keyword called a sequence diagram and then say user one and user two this is in a syntax user one is sending a user two when you arrow it here and plus right user one is sending to the user two l is sending john hello john how are you you know things like that and then uh, you can still send like you know, one more message from the user one to user two and then you can see the response back this is so simple right so uh, assuming that like you're trying to you know draw a class diagram you know how this class diagram and then association between the base class and child class and all i think in a syntactic see if you can see here animal class right animal is a base class and then duck fish 
Jibra are the inheritance inheritance from the base class, like right child classes. So these are the attributes. So plus means you know the yeah, what you can call it as uh, attributes have a three different specifiers in the object oriented program precisely in the C plus uh, plus. I think you most widely and then you are I'm sure you think you are well aware of it. Plus means a public you know attribute and then uh, minus means like uh, the private and then till means like a protected. You can if you want to change you know A's instead of plus put a minus what you do is come here and then just uh, hit the minus replace plus with minus automatically the change is going to be seen so on real time you can see the changes that simple isn't so if you uh, if you do you, here in this example you have the three classes and then class attributes are given let's say you don't want to define the class attributes then what you do like you just remove them right automatically it goes so if you don't want this completely uh, at high level then you can give a simple you know screenshot if you don't want you know attributes in the base class you can still you know you, you give this kind of a snapshot so isn't isn't easy for you to actually you know create a diagrams and then you know take these diagrams and integrate into your websites or documentation or your blogs you know things like that i will try out one more uh, uh, class diagram for our uh, you know tick learning see i created a class diagram called bank account and bank account in turn have you know saving account current account and create account see this one bank account and then how is a derived accounts are actually associated with a bank account and then these are kind of like an attribute they added into back bank account class that similarly if you wanted to actually put them in the child class go to this child class and then just add them so automatically you would be able to see the snapshot the another thing is like how you're going to you know uh, save this a file one is like you can take a screenshot but other thing is like go to the action window there is a kind of either the few file format that it supports okay copy the image to the clipboard that is one option that we have and go to the png and then you know uh, once it gets downloaded you will see the prompt you can just open it great you see then automatically the file gets downloaded into download folder and then you can pick it from there this is all so there is a it's a sizes also you can adjust you can you can choose auto width or height so the another thing is like it supports a documentation go to the here the documentation session then it prompts you like all the instructions for flowchart of what are the you know instructions that we have and then to you know draw your diagrams and similarly for the sequence diagrams like i said you know you have this all you know uh, fundamental fundamental how you can actually represent the certain things in certain order i think those things also it is given very clearly it's easy documentation and then you should be able to you know learn quickly all this and see look at you know uh, solid line without arrow and then dotted line with arrow I think these are all things actually you can see the representation and then how you are going to you know draw something like that if you want to try this diagram how it works out all you have to do is like just copy this you know co piece of code and then go here and then you know choose the sequence diagram and minimize this action and then go here and then just paste it see the minute i change it automatically i will see the the recreated diagram on my you know diagram panel so it's more interactive uh, do you agree so that's why i'm saying like learning made easy with this and all so you like likewise you have like you know, uh, you know so other diagrams you can play with it so the so you have a documentation session and then you have you know the supported diagrams since it is a online live i think you know, these are there but if you go to the license version probably you will have like a rich set of features that you would like to see okay then another thing is like the you know themes also for interactive themes this is lighter right but you can see the darkness cupcake you know things like that you know you can have like all the changes that you needed depends right now you have a flexibility personalizing your screen whatever you would like to uh, you know comfortable with you so i'm using like a lighter lightweight so should be okay for me so do you feel this is useful uh, definitely i feel this is one of the useful and quickly you can draw the diagrams and then you can you know use that uh, diagrams to integrate into your uh, websites 
ఆర్ బ్లాగ్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ఇన్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ డిజైన్ డాక్యుమెంట్ అందుకే కర్ నాట్ ఐ హోప్ దిస్ ఈస్ యూనో ఇన్ఫర్మేటివ్ థ్యాంక్స్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ ప్లీజ్ లైక్ షేర్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ బెల్ ఐకన్ అండ్ లీవ్ ద కామెంట్స్ హ్యాపీ లర్నింగ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ స్టేట్ ఇన్ టు అప్కమింగ్ సెషన్స్